Hello and welcome to the channel. Today what we're going to talk about is triggering flows when keywords are used in Microsoft Teams. Let's go. Okay, let's talk a little bit about why this content is important. So there's no shortage of communication channels these days, whether it's email, SMS, social media, WhatsApp, Discord, you know, you name the messaging service, and then naturally we've got Microsoft Teams as well. And, you know, in some ways, what these protocols, solutions, apps have tried to achieve, um, you know, those same issues have really spilt over to them, including Microsoft Teams. So, you know, in the past, you know, oh, email's being abused, it's being sent out too much, so, you know, use Teams. And then what ends up happening is like there's the tsunami of communication heading over there and next thing you know we've got this problem in two different places or three or four or five depending upon how many of these tools you use so you know what ends up happening inside of teams is we you know belong to several uh, several teams several channels and it can be difficult to keep track of all of the different communication that's going on and yes there is the at mention feature which is is hugely valuable because oftentimes you can kind of let a lot of the noise go through and then wait for yourself to be mentioned and then know to go contribute. But if you are too strict from that perspective, you might be missing out on some of the other subject matter that's going on in those specific teams. So wouldn't it be great if you could subscribe to a series of keywords and essentially have a process, look for those keywords, monitor it, and then bubble that information up to you. And uh, the good news is we can go ahead and do that. So using the Microsoft Teams connector and a trigger that we're gonna talk about here on the next slide, we have the ability to look for specific keywords in a group chat, within a team, within a channel, and whenever the, one of those keywords appears, we can go ahead and get a notification. And then that notification can be you know, targeted directly to us so that we don't miss it, and as a result, sort of try to find more balance with this information overload challenge that's just going on right now today in the world. So this is the sort of the, the piece that's super important here. There is a trigger that's part of the Microsoft Teams connector called when keywords are mentioned. And as you can see here, we've got some scope where the message type can be channel. When we get into the demo, I'll also show you group chat is an option. We've got the ability to go ahead and highlight a series of keywords that we're interested in. Now in my case, you know, if there is a channel inside of this specific team called Project Phoenix, where they're talking about RPA or bots, I want to know about that. And if we those mentions, those words are mentioned, I'm going to then get a push notification and basically then be able to click and go directly to that part of the conversation so that I can then go ahead and participate. So it's a pretty good balance of being able to focus on other things that are important and then naturally when the topic does come up that I want to participate in, I will know about it. So enough of the slides, let's go ahead, let's jump into a demo and let's go ahead and see this in action. Okay, so here I am in Power Automate in the Maker Portal and I have my trigger added to my canvas. And as I mentioned earlier, we've got a couple options here. We can go ahead and specify whether we want a message type from a channel or from a group chat. And then what we can do is provide keywords separated by a comma. So we could add additional, um, you know, we could add say automation here if we want as well. But uh, we just continue to add on to this by just adding a comma and the relevant word. In addition, we can go ahead and specify the team. And then also if there was a specific channel that we wanted to target, uh, we would have the ability to do that. In this specific team, there is only one channel, hence that being the only option. Now, whenever one of these keywords are mentioned within this specific channel, within a second or two, we're gonna, gonna actually see the flow light up and it's gonna instantiate and it's gonna kick off. Now, naturally, uh, we have many different options here where we could go ahead and put, send out a push notification to the Flow Mobile. If we wanted to, we could send out SMS using Twilio. If we wanted to, we could go ahead and send an email. Kind of the sky is our limit. We could do whatever we want here because of just Power Automate and its flexibility. Now in my case, I don't want to sort of be context switching 
all the time. The big thing is I'm just not necessarily going to be paying attention to this channel all day long. So I'll naturally be in Teams and so I think it does make sense to post a message as the Flowbot to a user. In this case, uh, this would be my username and I will see a push notification and then something show up in my chat that's coming from the Flowbot itself. And as part of that, we're going to include a link to the message. And so we can go ahead and uh, basically extract that value by using dynamic content. And then what ends up happening, this is an array, essentially there's gonna be an array of sort of messages that could be included here, hence the apply to each being added as soon as we go ahead and link to the message itself. Naturally, we can customize what the message looks like, what uh, the headline looks like as well. Um, totally up to us in terms of how we wanna manage that. So we can go ahead and save this. And then what we will do is we'll head over to Microsoft Teams. I'm just gonna use the web version here, but this naturally works in the thick client as well. So let's head over to uh, our team, the Project Phoenix. I've got a team set up here. We're in the general channel, as I showed you in the configuration. And what I'm going to do is just go ahead and add a message. So here, I'm just gonna post the message. How many times has our RPA bot run today? Now, this isn't something that is directed at me. No one's adding anyone. It's, it's in the general channel itself, but I might be interested to know this information. So what's gonna happen is we'll go ahead and add that message to the chat channel. And then what we're gonna see here shortly is basically a, a notification. Here it is. RPA has been mentioned. We can go ahead and click on that directly. Um, or what we can do is just head over to chat as well. We'll see this uh, showing up as a, as a chat instance as well. And sure enough, it has been. And then we can see that a topic you're interested in has been mentioned. I could say like RPA or something like that as well. Uh, but now what I want to do is, hey, I'm interested in this. So let's go ahead, let's click on this link. And then what's going to happen is, uh, in this case, because we're in the web, we're going to open up a, a new tab. But in the thick client, naturally, you stay there. And what's gonna happen is this message will be highlighted as yellow. So I'll know exactly where in the conversation this particular topic was mentioned. And then naturally, I would be able to contribute to that conversation. So here it is. Uh, this was the message that it was referring to. And then um, you know we would have the opportunity to go ahead and to participate in this conversation and here we could say a hundred times today right and so that's just a, a good way of being able to be aware that uh, you know a specific topic is being discussed and giving you the opportunity to go ahead and to contribute to that specific conversation all right so thanks for checking out this video if you're not following me on twitter go ahead and find me at weirzy thanks for uh watching this on youtube likes subscribes comments always welcome Please go ahead and take care of that. So thanks again, and we'll talk to you soon. Later.